Graduation, finding the right fit for college, just a couple of things high school seniors look forward to while getting ready to be on their own. Well, look no further. Delta State University Housing and Residence Life wants to answer any concerns you may have when trying to find the right place to call your new home. Whether it's finding the right roommate or the right residence hall, let the friendly and knowledgeable staff in the Delta State Housing and Residence Life office answer your questions. Phone them at 662-846-4151 or by following Housing and Residence Life in the quick links at www.deltastate.edu. Delta State University. Join it stand out and welcome back to the statesman insider right here on wxvt jimmy smith along with head coach ron roberts and coach fall to the lions 31 to 7 here in the final game at parker field mccool stadium uh it kind of throws a huge wrench into the gsc playoff pictures we've been talking all week the keys to the car that we had the keys to the playoff run we had the keys to the championship we had the keys to hosting a, a playoff game and now we've kind of handed those back to the dealer and said uh, we didn't want to take care of business here tonight the defense had a lot of trouble with the on the ground 220 yards uh given up on the ground north alabama just kind of shown us that they can offensively dominate a game as well. No, no I thought, uh, no, you know, hats off to North Alabama. I thought they came in and played very well, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, they came in on a mission. They came in on a mission, uh, you know, they've had two losses and they knew their back was against the wall and we kind of knew that was going to come in here. We we're going to see the best football team they had uh, and they played, uh, they played that way. I thought we played early. I thought we were fine. We made some mistakes, uh, but I thought we were going to be fine offensively, defensively, the way we played. And then, again, all we did is continue to, to add on the mistakes and special teams and missed kicks and fumbles and, you know, turnovers. And, uh, you know, just, just uh, wasn't a very good way to, to, to finish the game out. How deflating was really the, it was the first two quarters where you bang two off the post, Matt Snyder misses two field goals, you go 0 for 3 in the red zone. How deflating going in halftime was the feeling, even though the score wasn't at the point it ended up being, but it had to feel pretty deflating to get so close so often. Well, I, you know, the feeling at halftime was really is that we, we went in there, you know, uh, our kids were a little down, but we talked to them about, hey, we have moved the ball. We've been in red zone twice. Guys, we, we just got to finish the drive. We, you know, we talked about, you know, again, just taking care of, the, you know, uh, of the mistakes and, and you know finishing the drive off and uh, you know talk about some of the things on defensively some mistakes we had and then I uh, thought we were in good shape and then uh, second half it just kind of got away from us and then uh, uh, you know because we, we just continued to do the same things. Some of the things we thought we'd be able to do, sack the quarterback, lead chapel, force him to make bad throws. He was making some, some mistakes throwing the football, just couldn't capitalize on the interceptions, or uh, we couldn't bring him down because he was so evasive, and, and it seemed like that was the key to the game, getting pressure on the, on the young quarterback, making him make bad throws. He just kind of managed the game and managed the victory tonight. Yeah, he played well. He played well. That's off to him. Uh, you know, on our part of it, though, you got to do a better job of rushing the quarterback. Uh, you know, uh, we broke down a lot of times in uh, – our, our pass rush contain, and you know, guys you know, let him out of the pocket. We had opportunities to sack him. We let him out of the pocket. Those are mistakes on our part because uh, guys weren't where they're supposed to be. Talking about uh, more mistakes, Micah Davis had to throw the football 55 times tonight, 31 of 55, about 278 yards, three picks, though. Uncharacteristic mistakes from Micah Davis. Good coverage, bad mistakes. Oh, yeah. I, you know, a lot of them are there, you know, putting situations in. They know uh, when you're down, he's got to throw the football. And those guys are teed up coming after him. And, again, they're sitting back playing and just, you know, reading him and stuff. And, uh, you know, put him in a little bad situation there also as well late in the game. Uh, you know, that's why you don't want to play from behind like that. And uh, one guy who did have a pretty bright night today is Trevar Deed. Goes over the century mark for the third time this year. First time in quite some time uh, that Trevar has uh, earlier in the season when he was starting on, on all cylinders. Injury kind of slowed him down. But tonight, back in form, we were worried about him holding the football. He had a thumb injury uh, in, the, in the game against West Georgia. Had it taped up. We were worried about him holding the football. But North Alabama and Trevar Deed, it just seems to trigger that sixth gear with him. No doubt. He uh, is uh, not just North Alabama, but all of our big games, he's always shown up. Uh, he's a competitor, great competitor. Uh, you know, I know he's going to show up in the big in the biggest stage. He's going to show always always perform well. What's uh, I, I guess kind of what's the statement to the team now? We had to watch it all Baptist, the team that just beat the team that just beat us, a team that beat them in overtime. One of the better offenses in the GSC, one of the better offenses in the nation uh, in terms of Division Two football. What's the the saying with one final GSC game left to play to still keep our hat in the mix? Uh, we we got to come out and play well, you know. You got to come out and, and not make the mistakes. You can't turn the ball over. You can't make the miscues in the special teams we made. Uh, you know those types of things. The biggest thing we talk about right now is, uh, you know, we got to put our best foot forward. We got to come out and play the best football we can right now. And uh, you know, we definitely didn't do that tonight. And uh, you know, hopefully again we can focus our things together and we can get it done next week. 
States will head next week to Arkadelvia. Have the extra couple days off because it is a Saturday game, but we'll head to take on the Tigers for the final GSC game of the year on November 6th. Then we'll round up the season at Lambeth. When we come back, Kobe Rich will talk to senior running back Trevar Deed as the Statesman Insider continues right here on WXVT. Welcome back to the Statesman Insider right here on WXVT. We're down here on Parker Field where we just suffered a loss, 31-7 to to North Alabama. Trevar, you went off for 103 yards. Uh, what, what kind of – was their defense as tough, I guess, as their, their stats say? Um, yeah, they was tough, but at the same time, I think a lot of times we shot ourselves in the foot. So, really, it was our fault. I'm not going to – I give them benefit of the doubt they was pretty good, but they wasn't hyped up as what they say they are, so – now, were they trying uh, anything differently defensively, putting more men in the box against you? What, what were the looks you were seeing? Uh, you know, I was seeing you know, when I'm in the box, there's a lot of people there, but at the same time, they'll drop them off. I was just seeing some good looks, bad looks. They was doing a lot of stunning, but they try to sit back and play like they was the best, and they really wasn't. You also had 50 yards coming out of the backfield. Was that uh, in practice this week? Was that something you guys were looking at, you catching the ball out of the backfield? No, not really. We um, just play whatever they gave us at the time because we had Delhi receivers and they had to back off when we went to pass. So I just slipped out the backfield here and there, caught a couple balls. Now, you always have big games when it comes to TV games and, and when the, the pressure is big, but you also had your father in the stands for the first time in your career. How was that like to have a big game in front of him? Uh, it was Fantastic, you know what I'm saying? That's my best friend, it's my dad, but I wish we would have won the game instead. But um, I appreciate going off for my dad and doing a good game today for him. Now, next week we go into Wachita Baptist, who just beat North Alabama last week. I mean, what's going to be the motivation next week? There's no motivation. We're just going to go out and beat them, plain and simple. That's all I can say. We have to beat them. We will beat them. We're going to playoffs. No ifs, ands, buts about it. And that's Trevar Deed. We'll go to Jimmy Smith, who's standing by with junior linebacker Robert Hogan. Thanks, Kobe, here with junior linebacker Robert Hogan. You're one of the vocal guys on this team in a 31-7 loss to North Alabama at home in what will be the final game here at Parker Field McCool Stadium. Not in your career. you got a whole other great year to play, but this is kind of a bad way to end what was going to be hopefully a good run through the end of the season with the keys to the playoff car in our hands. Uh, what's kind of the emotions with, with you right now, being one of the leaders, being one of the vocal guys on this team? Uh... Me personally, I'm mad. I'm upset. I mean, I can't hide it. Uh, this is a game I thought we should have won. I thought uh, we came out playing good, but, you know, second half, it, it didn't go our way. So, yeah, yeah. I'm a little upset right now. So, Wes Holland uh, was uh, – he was in there. He was in the top ten in the GSC running the football, but not nearly what he put out tonight. 220 yards on the ground. Uh, it seemed like the front – seven guys were having a lot of trouble finding them on those delay handoffs on the draws what was uh what was the i guess the scheme that they were running was it something we had seen was it a surprise and what was the breakdown no we knew they was running coming into this week i thought uh we made a lot of mistakes uh people get lined up wrong or uh, a player just is trying too hard to make plays you know but uh all in all we knew what they were gonna run we just didn't do we didn't execute you know when we had to so now, you've seen this rivalry now. This is your third time. You've played them, it seems like, a thousand times because every season seems to come down to North Alabama, Delta State, Delta State, Valdosta State. And uh, right now with Valdosta State being number one in the GSC, they step away from everybody else. It's always down to those three, North Alabama with their backs against the wall. Do you think that uh, that motivation, losing two games in a row, playing for their playoff lives, was what that extra boost came from tonight? Yeah, I thought uh, their backs against the wall. They lost two games straight, man. I knew... That them losing those two games, they gonna come in here with with a, a score to settle, and um, they came in, they came into play, you know. So yeah, going to the next week, a team that beat North Alabama last week, Washington Baptist, a very very good offense, and that seems to be where our issues are. If, if if it's a shootout, maybe we can win it. If the defense has a lot of trouble and the offense sputters, it's where we kind of get left in the dust. Washington Baptist has a very good offense, maybe better than North Alabama's, and they put up 31. What's the changes that need to be made? What are the changes that need to be made uh, in the defensive units going into the last GSC game of the year? Uh, I don't think no changes need to be made. I think we go into practice Sunday, come in. Uh, coach is going to have a good game plan. I know huh? we just got to go in the game and execute. That's, that's all we can do. What are you saying to your core mates as we, as we head down the stretch here? With I know a lot of the talk in, in the locker room was we're still in this. Nothing has changed. We're still uh, going to end up in the playoffs. That's the hope. But what are you saying to the guys that line up alongside of you as we head down the stretch? Oh, man, I'm just telling them, keep your heads up. Still got a chance of going in this fight. You know, no giving up. You got two games left. Uh, still got a chance of going to the playoff. Look, look, guys, we come in here this weekend. We're going to work like, like you know, we're still GSC champs. And uh, we're going to go take it from there. 
thing is still up in the air. The GSC is one jumbled mess, but Valdosta State will emerge after this game as the clear-cut leader as we head down the stretch. The Statesmen head to Washita Baptist next week to take on the Tigers, and then we'll round up against Lambeth to finish the season. A big thank you to head coach Ron Roberts, to Robert Hogan, and Trevar Deed, Jake Zebanuski, as well as the five coaches featured in the Statesmen Take 5. The Statesmen fall here tonight 31-7, to but we thank you for watching the Statesman Insider right here on WXVT.